Labor Day, a great holiday to get your last great grill on for the summer. And today we're going to show you some absolutely wonderful grilling recipes that you can do inside. You can do them outside, depending on what uh, the weekend's weather report actually has in store for you. And since we've got a thumbs up after today, we've got executive chef of La Fonda here, Del, La Fonda del Sol restaurant. Josh DeKellis joins us this morning with a fantastic idea. You say, don't run in and out of the house, do everything on the grill. You know, Tell I, think, <laughs> I, think you, I think you nailed it by talking about the last hurrah of the summer. Yeah. And you don't want to be inside. You want to be outside enjoying your, your friends, your family, your grill, the fresh air, especially a guy like me who's locked inside all the time. So what I want to show you guys today is uh, how to go ahead and do just that. Get everything done, a full meal on the grill, and uh, you don't have to go inside at all. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start with a steak. Um, you know, I love to eat... That's a serious-looking steak. This is a serious-looking <laughs> steak. One thing I want to talk about, I love getting a big steak for the grill. You know, when you get a big steak, it's really hard to cook on the grill because it gets too charred on the outside. And that's where I've introduced this here. This is actually a wine stave. It's a wine barrel uh, that we have cut down. And after this, this steak is grilled like this, we just sort of smoke them up on this wine barrel. You can see these wisps of smoke, and that just right. gives it this now, extra... Do you, have to, do you have to wet that first to make sure it doesn't go up in flames? Or no, because we want it to smoke a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, you know, these things are really old. They're really compact, so they don't they don't uh, they won't really ignite mm -hmm. on you so we always think about the meat but you've got a whole host yes. of other things you're cooking mm -hmm. on the grill obviously you need to get your timing right because some things take longer than others but what, right. what do you have here well while we're cooking the steak on the wine stave you know we do like to go ahead and baste it with uh, a great wine here this is a sir francis or saint francis wine that's mm -hmm. not going to go up it's an old real no, no no it's an old okay. vine zinfandel and what's great about this it's affordable you can drink it you can cook with it it's a beautiful wine. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the peaches, uh, I like to do something. Grilled have, peaches mm. are just astounding, right? I love them. Oh. Uh, we just get a peach that's not, you can see this one isn't too ripe, uh, because if it was too ripe, you would put it on the grill and we just, yep. you know, turn to mush right on it. So you can see the knife just sinks through, and the peach is going to soften up, and we just kind of plop them right on and just let it mm -hmm. cook next to it. This is a nice, healthy-looking grill, no? Yeah. You got like a little meat, great. you got little potatoes, you got some, yeah. some peaches. Some veggies, peaches yeah. of the dessert, though. That's part of, the, that's part of a, a savory dish, right? Because you got some prosciutto here, you're wrapping it exactly. up. Exactly. I'm a really big fan of uh, sweet and salty. At La Fonda yeah. del Sol, we're a Spanish restaurant, so one of the perfect foils to the grilled peach, I think, is uh, serrano ham. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like uh, the prosciutto of Spain. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and taste that. There's one missing element so how here. So how do you serve <clears> that? How well, do you, we serve you, it you just like this. Into, oh, there we go. <coughs> this is our finished product. So what we have here, we have these grilled peaches. We dress them with uh, a beautiful olive oil. Yeah. You know, Spain is famous for its olive oil. Yeah, EVB, huh? Some nice chives in there. I see chives. Oh, we have up. chives, arugula, salty ham, and the only thing missing is uh, a nice buttery Chardonnay, which All we right. have for everybody to taste. One of st uh, Ty's ready for the Chardonnay. I, I, don't <laughs> I think know everybody's where to look ready for the Chardonnay. Yeah. Yeah. It's Labor Day. Yeah. And we're set to go. One other yeah, thing I want to show folks is the garlic, because you're grilling the garlic, <clears> but obviously the little cloves would fall through the hole. So this is how he does it. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah. So we just leave it whole. We cut it right in half. And the reason why we have the garlic in general is I just sort of like to kick it next to the steak while it's grilling, and it really sort of helps the perfume. The other thing I want to talk about is we all grill vegetables, but um, you know, steak and potatoes is such a classic thing. And one way to stay out of the kitchen but still get your potatoes is what you do is you go ahead and you take these potatoes, a fingerling potato. Oh, these are great. And these are boiled. Yeah. And you get the long ones so they don't fall through the grill and they're already cooked. And see what you can see here is we've sort of just grilled them here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, so you, so on, you on boil, the cut side boil them down. first. That's right, you just boil, boil them first. first so they're already cooked. Yep. And then once you have a beautiful potato like this, putting them together is very easy. You just take a, a little bit of shallot. You know, we'll take a little bit of these uh, pickled peppers. Beautiful. So dress it up. We're inspired. Thank you so much for showing us this. And you know what? The weather, like we said, is going to be beautiful. So you have a chance to do all of it. I'll be out there. I hope you guys are too. All Josh, right. thank, you. thank you so much.